بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. I wanted to tell you the story of when I came into Islam. I struggled for a minute trying to figure out if I was going to take my shahad or not. In my heart, I was already Muslim. I was in Cleveland, Ohio. I had ended up leaving the seminary. I was studying in the seminary to be a Catholic priest for about two and a half years. Then I decided I was going to leave the seminary and I was going to stay in school, which I was going to school at John Carroll University in Cleveland, Ohio. And what I did was ended up leaving the seminary and going to the college dorm. So there I struggled for a minute. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. I was going between Cleveland, Ohio and Philly. And I was trying to figure out if I was going to take Shahad or not. So one day, I pick up some books, start reading, come to a conclusion. Yeah, I want to do this. Well, I start calling the message around. I was from Philly. I didn't know what was up in Cleveland. So I was thinking to myself, man, I got to watch what neighborhood I'm going to. So I started asking brothers, you know, is the masjid in a good neighborhood, bad neighborhood? So I ended up picking this masjid, which I thought was in a decent neighborhood. Go to the masjid. I already took my ghusl, took my shower. I was already prepared. I'm going in the masjid thinking I'm going to get this, this like celebration because this dude is coming into a spot. Come into the masjid, the guy opens the door. What do you want? That was the first response. Second response was like, I said, I, I, I want to take your head. You wait right there. Then there's these two guys. There's this one guy with this towel wrapped around his head, sitting in the middle of the floor. This other guy with a towel wrapped around his, sitting right next to him. So I'm like, yo, man, I'm coming here. I want to take my shahad. Then you got, you have to wait. They made me wait. So then I started explaining to them, I want to take my shahad. Like, Why do you want to become Muslim? So I started getting all philosophical with them and so on and so forth. I was studying philosophy at the time. I thought, you know, it's kicking something. So then they tell me, do you want to take a bath? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yo, no way. I already took a bath. I just came here to get my shahad and I'm out, man. That's all I want. I want my They made me wait for like 20 more minutes. So I took my shahad and I left out of there. And I started thinking to myself, man, that was the most rude experience I had in my life, man. It's like, what kind of religion is this, man? This is, dude, I'm coming there seeking God. He's telling me, what do you want? The next time, next, next time, next, next few minutes, I'm looking at these guys sitting on the floor. They're not even welcoming. Then I go into this store, this Arab store, and I'm thinking, man, my Muslim brother. Going to the Arab store, same attitude. I started thinking to myself, man, all these dudes is rude. All of them are rude. So I convinced myself that I was just going to commit to being Muslim regardless of how I was being treated. And after 21 later, 20, what, 20 years later, I have to say, I'm still thinking the same thing. <laughs> These guys are rude. And I'm still trying to commit to being a Muslim. So we all have the experiences. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.